In statistics, we want to be able to change between fractions, decimals, and percents, and we can use the calculator to do this. So I'm going to do a couple of examples from the homework in section 1.3. So this first group of questions says convert the fractions to decimal, round to three places. Let's take, say, number two here, two-sevenths to three places. So because there's a rounding involved, I'm going to go to the calculator, start with math, num, round, and I'm going to do 2 divided by 7, and to get three decimal places, comma, 3, close the parentheses, and that gives me the correct answer, 0.286. You might notice that if I just go 2 divided by 7, It'll give me a much longer decimal, this one. And if we round this off to three places, we get the 0.286. So you can go right to the round thing to get the answer immediately. Uh, let's see. So in the next group of questions, convert the decimal numbers to a whole number percent. So to convert a decimal to a percent, I'm going to multiply by 100. But then, to do the rounding to a whole number, I'm going to round it off to zero decimal places. So let's take this, uh, say this number 18, it says 0.699. So I'm going to take 0.699. I'm going to multiply it by 100 to convert it to a percent. And then I'm going to round it to zero decimal places. So on the calculator, I'm going to go math num round 0.699 multiply it by 100 that'll convert it to a desk to a percent and then to round it off to a whole number i'm going to use zero decimal places so i'm going to go comma zero to round it off to a whole number and so the answer as a percent is 70 percent for that one okay then they want you to do the same kind of thing, but instead of taking a decimal, they want you to convert a fraction to a whole number percent. I'm going to do the same idea here. Let's take this number 30, which says 450, 455 over 1365. Those are kind of big, ugly numbers, but the calculator doesn't care. So on the calculator, now I want to round these to a whole number percent. I'm going to multiply by 100 and then round it to zero places. So on the calculator, I'm going math num round. And the fraction was 455 over 1365. So I'm going 455 divided by 1365. To convert that to a percent, I'm going to multiply by 100. And then to get it rounded to a whole number, I'm going to round it to no decimal places, a zero there. And when I close the parentheses and hit the magic Enter button, that rounds off to 33%. Now, I think there's one more group of questions here. Let's see. So they want me to write the percents into decimal form. They don't say to round anything, so I'm not going to use the rounding thing. And to convert a percent to a decimal, I divide the percent by 100. So let's take this uh, number 38 here is 2%. So to convert 2%, to a decimal, I'm going to take 2, divide it by 100 on the calculator. So to convert 2% to a decimal, 2 is the percent, divided by 100. And 2% as a decimal is 0 0.02. They didn't ask me to round anything, so I'm going to leave it like that.